yeah leave it leave, leave the other part yes so now i have suspended this so it is moving a bit yeah now you can see that if i have this point so this point you are able to visualize it very clearly in this uh, thing that oh, this is the point that will be getting uh, this which will be projected so i'll mark a simple point which will be what this will be my top view okay now the same thing i'll project it from front so i'll be able to visualize a straight line are you able to visualize the straight line that is just behind it has to be a little bit at, at an angle so that the straight line is forward yeah keep it this way yeah so it will be visible now you can see the straight line so this is the straight line that will be there so i'll just draw no no don't remove it keep it there yes so i'll draw a straight line which is there of the length of the line so now again what i will do is this is this is my keep it hold front view so now this is in the first quadrant now what is going to happen is that this is my vp this a front view is there and here i, I here the top view, uh, here you are viewing it from the top so the top view is there now what i'm going to do is i'm going to this turn this perpendicularly oh sorry clockwise so that uh, it becomes in a single plane it becomes in a single plane with uh, vp so this is it so now when i turn it now i will have what i'll have my uh, uh, front view at the top and the top uh, front view above this line xy you've seen in black and the top view that is uh, tv that is a small point as you can see will be what will be below xy so this is the condition in first quadrant and all the uh, uh, problems will be solved in this kind of a way you just remember one thing that this is for the first quadrant that we have turned it clockwise now if it is uh, now if similar thing is there in the second quadrant now what we will do is we will still turn it clockwise so what will happen is that both the uh, hp as well as vp will lie above this line xy and for third quadrant what will happen this is my third quadrant for third quadrant what will happen again this will go up so it will be exactly reverse of the first quadrant and for the fourth quadrant what will happen is that it will be exactly reverse of the second quadrant that both of my points that is hp and vp will be below my line xy that we uh, uh, that we discussed in uh, the uh, projection of points also uh, so this thing is similar between the projection of points as well as projection of line okay so if you see in the slide this will be your final answer this is in the first quadrant now if i draw it in the second quadrant what will happen is same question for my second quadrant will look something of this sort a dash b dash is the line that is my front view and ab is the only dot that is the top view both will lie in what both will lie in above x y then for the next condition line perpendicular same condition the thing is that it is in the third quadrant so what will happen is my hp will go up my top view will be that point ab as shown and my line the uh, vertical projection that is my front view will be a dash b dash in the uh, bottom uh, below xy now let us come to the next condition the next con uh, this is our next condition that, uh, which is line is perpendicular to hp and parallel to vp so this is for the fourth quadrant fourth quadrant both will vp and hp will lie below my line xy okay so moving on to the next condition the next condition is that line is now the line is perpendicular to vp and parallel to hp so again uh, we'll have a demonstration we'll uh, scratch of a line uh, this is the thing so we have used this part so we'll be putting a line so you get the difference we'll be putting a line so this was the first case that we discussed here we will be discussing the second case here we will discuss the second case and finally here we'll discuss the third case okay so please go on and explain the second case to them again we are will do it in the first quadrant and then uh, similarly you ca guys can follow up with the second and uh, second third fourth quadrants line is perpendicular to vp and parallel to hp so that when you are seeing from this side that means that its front view gives you point when you are observing on this side that means that its top view gives you the length of the line 
so what will be the difference now now if i draw the front view and the top view so what will happen is the comparison would be there now this would be the point this will be only a point which here which will be what which will be my front view and here i'll have a straight line which will be my top view so you will be able to understand again i'll do the same thing and turn this out like this so here you are able to view the different cases see here this is the first case in this case i had what i had my line parallel to hp and perpendicular to vp uh, sorry i had my line parallel to vp and perpendicular to hp this is my second condition which uh, this is my second condition in which my line is perpendicular to vp and parallel to hp so what i'll have we will see the figure first on the line this is the figure with uh, i'll have my vertical projection as a point and my uh, hor horizontal projection as a straight line which is depicted by this uh, second case which is there second case which is there on the line so you can visualize this second case this second case is the figure which is drawn on the slide now again what we will do is we will go for uh, the second quadrant and we will see that what is there in the second quadrant the same condition what happens in the second quadrant is both the points go up as they went in the uh, as they went in the first condition also so both the points went up now what happens now we'll go to the third quadrants now actually what has happened here is uh, we'll go once that you can see above there is a small dot that is my front view and below just below that uh, the line is there that is my top view so my front view is there itself wh whereas my top view has shifted its position to, because my plane from the second this is my second uh, quadrant so my horizontal plane will be rotated and it will come both uh, they both will come uh, in the same plane so they both are above line x y as we have shown you in the figure then in the third quadrant what will happen is it will be exactly opposite of the first quadrant exactly see we had drawn uh, this is what the line has line is up that is a top view is up and the uh, vertical projection that is a point which is in uh, below x y now visualize what uh, see what we had drawn in the second case we had this point up and this line below x y line uh, this point was above xy that is the front view and this line which was our top view was below this line xy which is this line xy this condition has been totally reversed if i reverse this condition exactly this line has come up above xy and this point has gone below xy so what will happen is i'll get my condition which is there on the screen that is my third quadrant so you will be uh, i think uh, the thing is making uh, th thing is getting clearer so in the fourth quadrant what will happen it will be exactly opposite of what was there in the second quadrant in my second quadrant i had my point as well as my line that is front view as well as top view above xy and here i have my front view as well as top view below xy so i think this uh, second condition is also clear so let's move on to the third condition the third condition is that the line is parallel to hp as well as vp now what will happen let's see what happens yes please line is parallel to hp as well as parallel to vp that means that that there is a point on profile plate whenever you see from this side that means that you see from the front side you got the line as well as you see from the top side you got the line so that you got in both case the line and the point is marked on the profile plate the profile plane uh, can be sh uh, we can show it better using this yes so the same thing we are using here the hp it is parallel to vp it is parallel to hp that's why we have a plane on what we have a point on the uh, profile plane so if i keep it again on this and compare all the three cases for comparing all the three cases the thing that i was uh, using the thing that i was using now if i draw uh, the projections for this so this is a straight line here so i'll draw a straight line i've drawn a shorter line so that all the three cases can be compared and this is again a short line that i have drawn okay so this is my again this is my front uh, this is my top view i am having this time oh sorry i've used it different this is my front view and 
Ah, okay. Okay, so again, I have what? I have this. So this was my first case. This was my second case that we discussed last. And this is my third case. And this line is parallel to both HP as well as VP. That's why I have a straight line on both, which is equal to the length of the line. Now, in the, uh, we'll discuss again. This was the first condition in which it was parallel to VP and perpendicular to HP. So if a line is parallel to any plane, then the true length of the line, that is the length of the line will be the projection on that plane. And if it is perpendicular to the plane, then it will be a final dot, which is made even clearer on this second where it was, it was uh, perpendicular to VP and parallel to HP. Perpendicular to VP, so we have a dot that is a small point and here we have it parallel to VP, that's why it stop you is a straight line. Whereas in the third case, it is parallel to both HP, uh, VP as well as HP. So what will happen is that HP and VP both will be a straight line equal to the length of the line, the, the object that is there. So I hope all the three cases are clear. Now this is for this was for the first quadrant. Now we'll discuss it for this. Uh, this is the thing for the first quadrant. Now we will discuss it for what? We will discuss it for the rest of the quadrants. That is sec for the second quadrant. What will happen? My both the lines will be above uh, x y. For third quadrant, what will happen? It will get exactly opposite of what was there. That is, V P will get into H P and H will be, uh, vertical. Uh, uh, it will get uh, tripped vertically, so uh, my VP will be down and HP would be up. And in the fourth quadrant, my both the lines would be b below XY. That is totally opposite of what? Totally opposite of my second quadrant. Okay. Now this is a ec uh, exercise. Now we have three problems that will be solved, and Umangi will be solving step by step each and every problem on paper, so that you guys get a uh, brief up view that how these problems are being solved. So we guys will go out of the picture and uh, we'll let Umangi take the camera. We have the basic of life. But we don't know how to implement this exam, this knowledge into a practical work. So, let us study some examples. So, first of all, we are considering the examples of only a basic parallel and perpendicular lines, not an inclined line. So, first of all, we have taken one example, slide. Okay. So, here the data is given a line A, B, C, 80 mm long. 80 mm means it is the true length of a line. So, given data, the first data is true length of a line. Second is line is perpendicular to VP and 50 mm below HP, which is the data and length of the line. Now, point V, 20 mm from A on VP. So, it is also a data and point A lies in the fourth quadrant. Draw the projection of line A, B, C. Now, we have studied that for the for fourth quadrant, if we draw an XY line, okay, if we will draw an XY line, then the HP will be above the XY line, okay, and the VP will be the below XY line. Now let us going through the data. The true length of a line is equals to 80 mm, and the line is A B C. The line is A B C. Now the data is given as A B is equals to 20 mm. So 20 mm means here we have given this. Given this, A is on the xy line so below to below vp 20 mm there is a point a here is given a is 20 mm below xy line okay now the length of line a b c true length is 80 mm and the data b c is equals to 20 so b c is equals to 80 minus 20 is equals to 60 mm now consider A, B and C point. So this will be 60 mm. Okay. Now we have here, here the data is given as the line which we show as an elevation or the front view and the data of the elevation is 50 mm. Okay. So when we So, so, when we will draw the elevation or the front view of the line will be 
50 एम एम बिलो एक्स वाई लाइन सो ही आर बिलो एक्स वाई लाइन और फिफ्टी एम एम डिस्टेंस ओके ही आर वी आर मार्क दैट इन वी पी वैन वी शो द एलिवेशन वी नोटेड एज इट एज ए डैश बी डैश एंड सी डैश सो दिस इज द प्रॉपर सॉल्यूशन ऑफ एन एग्जाम्पल सो यू कैन रिफर दिस वंस अगेन ओके वैन द पॉइंट इज इन फोर्थ क्वार्टन ए पॉइंट बी पॉइंट एंड अ सी पॉइंट एंड द फ्रंट व्यू ऑफ एन लाइन नाउ लेट एस कंसिडर अ सेकेंड एग्जाम्पल नाउ आई विल रीड द डेटा लाइन ए बी फिफ्टी एम एम लॉन्ग इज पपेंडिकुलर टू द प्रोफाइल प्लेन नाउ वी हैव टू ड्रॉ अ प्रोफाइल प्लेन एट वंस दिस इज अ प्रोफाइल प्लेन ओके नाउ एंड ए इज ट्वेंटी एम एम बिलो एच पी एंड थर्टी एम एम बिहाइंड वी पी सो इट शोज अ लोकेशन विच इज ट्वेंटी एम एम बिलो एच पी एंड थर्टी एम एम थर्टी एम एम बिहाइंड वी पी सो दिज आर द टू लोकेशन ऑफ द पॉइंट ए एंड द सेकेंड इज ए इज टेन एम एम लेफ्ट फ्रॉम द PP point, PP plane. So here we will draw a line of 10 mm. Is it clear? Here we will draw a line of 10 mm from the profile plane, which will show. the area of line a a point may be lie on this line anywhere but the location is 20 mm below hp and 30 mm behind vp so we will mark 20 mm below hp and 30 mm behind vp here is 30 mm distance so here we will mark a and here we will mark a dash to show the front view or the elevation now the true length of the line which is given as 50 mm so true length means the original length which is 50 mm here we will end point of the line b 